Ferrari number three, 2020, January. Uh, it is two o'clock. We've had zero races. We've been postponed for a couple hours. Got some good practice in this morning. A lot of goals for the regatta. Our biggest goal is going to be uh, the Junior Olympic Festival in July, 2020. Uh, Pinnand is quite favored. All these boats are actually coming downwind at us. Uh, this fleet is famous for uh, general recalls. So we anticipate a general recall. We have four boats out here. Tommy and Preston. One. Six eight six. Trey and Jet five six nine three. Stella and Sophia sail number Dude, nine. Five six two seven's on port. Okay, fully on port. And one more. Mercy and Lena. I don't know their sail number yet. O two five zero. Yes. So nine. O two five zero one six eight six and five six nine three. The pin is very favored. Before this race, uh, you were close hauled sailing on starboard down the line, maybe a very big close reach, and you were broad reaching towards the committee boat down the line. So definitely pin in further upwind. They got a start off, no general recall. So pin in favor. Uh, I don't see any of our guys in the very back. There's Mercy and Lena getting on port. So they started in the upper half of the line and I was advising everybody to start uh, just off the middle, just like Stella did. Uh, just off to the left of middle. And she's gonna get a good spot right there. You got Morgan Pickney is gonna be a little close to your bad air, to your wind, but there we go. Her jib is a little outside the spreader on Sophia. In these conditions, with the skipper in the hiking mode a little, the skipper's actually sitting up a little. We would want the jib, leech of the jib inside the spreader a little to give us max power in the top of the jib. Not too far. What do we got, Jimmer? Three knots? Four knots? Three and a half. First place around in race one. Perry Series Regatta number three, Long Beach. Goal for our spinnaker sets is for the skipper to hoist, pull the guy back about so the tack of the spinnaker comes around the forestay a little, grab the sheet, and then fly the spinnaker. Just like as if they were the crew. You know, they, they all know how to fly it as a crew, so they're just holding the tiller and the spinnaker sheets and fly it until the pole gets up. Try to get it to fill. I have to rank this Perry series as some of the worst spinnaker sets I saw was in the second Perry regatta. Oh no, that one was at Coronado. The next one's at San Diego, right? Okay, so we can tell these boats are on a beam reach. Stella's gonna come around in 15th or so. I can't tell anyone else, I gotta keep. I know Stella's in there somewhere. Can't remember what her spinnaker looks like. I definitely know she's sail number nine. Uh, she's a white vanguard spinnaker. That's, she's on port tack, just filling. Sail number nine right there. So not a bad beat, about mid fleet. Tommy's five or six boats further back. I think here's Mercy and Lena. Yep, 0250 right here. Black and yellow type, inverted top bat. One of our goals for this regatta is getting better at the rotation of the spinnaker. Pulling the guy back as we go into the jive. As we turn through dead downwind, the pole is back a little more. Not all the way back, but definitely pulling in what's going to be the new sheet. We're pulling the spinnaker around, working on that. 
race one leaders see how they hold the main sheet she holds she's sitting forward holding the main sheet right by the by the, by the boot underhand or over I got too close. It's unbelievable how we can create a vacuum. So what happened on this run was these guys got a good puff on starboard and they were able to get down the course. Well, everybody back over there were on port tack kind of hunting for wind. So this, this is going to be like the A fleet here and the B fleet's way over there. Very early takedown. And they could do that because they were reaching quite a bit. They were a pretty high reach. Look how much he's gaining. Yes, I think if I was going to start a race on that line, if that was a starting line, I would definitely be starting at this pin end. So definitely these guys rounded the correct end, the end that's upwind. Stella and Sophia, and again, Lena and Mercy right next to each other. It's just amazing how we come in. Oh, this is not going to be pretty. Here comes Trey right in here. There's not much you could have done about this. Oh, good. They did a good job of communicating, and it could have been way worse. Oh, that's bad. Oh, no. Oh, no. Try to find the finish line in there. It's, it's right up wind of 3501. You can see the flag there, right? And look at the angle of these boats. They're about 35 degrees off, 25 degrees off the finish, the finish line. These boats are going perpendicular to that. They are going 70 degrees away from it. Starboard tack is now closer to the mark. So what happens here is if the wind goes to the right, we lose. If the wind goes to the left, we tack onto a huge lift and we uh, sail a lift while all those boats that were on board come back on a big header. Okay, well, we're looking around 20. Okay, B12, 13 boats there, Mercy and Lena. Mercy is parallel to the line on port tack, and her main is all the way out and not loving. And then you look at your competition, this guy is close hauled, telltale's flying, and he's going parallel to the line. So the pin is monstrously favored. So again, I would be starting right there. I'd cut the line in half, then I'd cut it in half again, and I would start just to the right of that second cut. So, you, there's no way, there's only three boats that are going to get a decent start at this end with this favorite. Look at all these guys are coming downwind here, over trim. Look at this guy's angle on the port tack close hauled is straight up. The committee boat is way over there. So, look at these guys, close hauled, 693 is completely close hauled course and barely making the pin end. This guy's close hauled, barely making the pin end. These guys are doing good. Oh, look at, you see a boat can tack onto port and be just fine. Look, these guys are doing good. When the pin is favored, you really stay up on the line.
race two on Saturday. You can see Mercy in there just frantic, trying to get moving and just a cluster mess. We'll see how it comes out. Tommy moving. Okay. Stella needs to close reach. Uh, Sophia needs to close reach. She's just holding the bow up on the wind with no speed. She needs to scull down, get moving. Yeah. She's still pointing. Two One minute to go. I flag was up. So if you're in the middle, it's a little risky if you happen to get called over early because it's a long sail to round it in. What we learned on this start is you got to have no overlap or lured boat, but you're going to hear a lot of extraneous communication. Don't go in there. That mean nothing. You're either windward, lured, or you're not. Okay, so 0250 just got called, so she's doing a good job going around the end. Oh, no. She, she better go around an end. Oh. She did... 0250 did not round an end. Marcy has not skippered in many parries. Maybe the second time. Uh, but she just got I flagged and did not round an end. So with Sophia, we're working on accelerating. She's, she's still heading up. She needs to go down. She needs to go tiller towards her. Down, 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 down. down. You can't go close hauled right away. You have to go below close hauled in order to get flow. But you're moving okay there. Race two on Saturday, there has been two general recalls. This start happened. Okay, there's Sophia nine. Middle left of the line. Again, they did what I asked. Middle left of the line. And you just wait until 5409 tax, and then you tax. What I need to know is anybody that goes around you There she go. There. Go now. 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 See, she just blew it. She's in bad air. 5409, the best guy in the fleet tax. You should attack right away. You gotta remember, these boats actually gain speed and tax a little bit if you do them well. God, get out of bad air. Anyway, I'm pretty happy with it. There's Tommy at the wrong end again. He didn't do what I asked. I don't think the pin was as favored this time as it's been. I do think they squared it up, but again, Tommy did a good job attacking right away, but he just gave up too much. These guys are 10 boat lengths ahead. 10 boat lengths is uh, 130 feet ahead of you, further upwind. Yeah, you guys nine, you guys should have tacked out of there. 